Hey guys, Marcy Hines here, your local mortgage advisor, out and about today in Northwest Oklahoma City on Northwest 38th Street at the Bradford House. Let's go check it out. All right, you guys, I have Sarah, Kate, and Jason with me, the owners of the Bradford House, and I am so excited to tell you guys all about this place, why you need to know about it, and come check it out. So Sarah, Kate, you were telling me you guys actually bought this property five years ago, and I don't know about you guys and knowing the, the class and area in 38th Street, but I remember this house. I remember seeing this house, and it was a, a four-unit uh, property and, and then had this third floor on it, and now we have this gorgeous boutique hotel with 36 rooms, ton of space to do all kinds of things. Tell me about it. Well, it's come a long way since we started. <laughs> Definitely. Um, it was overgrown and sad and maybe a little bit forgotten. Yeah. Um, but as we discovered it and kind of researched it, we found out that a lot of eccentric, fascinating people had come through its doors. I and for love us, that. the building just had soul and we were just really excited to save it and give it a new lease on life. I love that. We joke that it was in original condition, and not in a good way. Like <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. steal that. But like original condition is in had never been maintained or you know hadn't been maintained updated at, at any level. I, I, I remember that I used yeah. to drive by it all the time for years. And so not only do we have this really amazing space for this boutique hotel, every room is a different color, you guys, a different feel, a different vibe. But we also have this huge wraparound porch around us. And when I came up this morning. Everybody's eating outside, chatting, and you were telling me it's almost like you wanted the out-of-towners to come in and share their stories and be with them, but you also wanted the community to be able to come in and have their own living space as well. Definitely. I mean, I think it's become a, a place for synergy um, and a place where people can interact and discuss ideas and get some alone time, have a date. I mean, it's, it's the I'm perfect gonna do that. backdrop <laughs> yeah, for all sorts of different reasons. Actually, right now, there's a birthday party going on uh, for a 75-year-old who's just having this amazing get-together. Um, and I thought that was so sweet and cute, but you were saying baby showers and weddings and, and just bringing everybody in. We're a good option for small to medium-sized events. Right. So, but that require a full scope of service. So unlike like a dining hall of sorts that may have space but mm. may not provide much levels of service and mm -hmm. you're having to bring in catering companies or bartenders it's kind of a turnkey solution for uh, folks who really don't want to have to coordinate dozens of vendors you know for one event I love they can that. work with our event director You said you have a baker in the basement. Tell me about that. Well, she's not our baker. She, uh, Trisha, Trisha O'Donohue, who owns Quincy Bake Shop. Okay. Uh, she is a classical French trained pastry chef. That's really a, like a partnership for us um, of two independent owner operators kind of collaborating together. What an experience, you guys. So not only a, an amazing place to stay, uh, amazing place to hang out with your friends and your family, but also to get these amazing uh, homemade treats from this trained baker who used to bake in Chicago. I just love that. Well, if you're a guest in this building, which these 12 rooms in this building we call the historic home. Okay. The espresso bar opens at seven, and that's when her pastry case starts to fill. So if you're staying overnight, as you're you know waking up first thing in the morning, you're kind of awakened to the smell of uh, of dough and butter from croissants she's <laughs> making, and then the, the smell of fresh ground coffee beans. And so it's it's a pretty kind of like mouth watering but invigorating way to start the day as a hotel guest if all that's happening right downstairs as you're kind of getting going in the morning. We took two buying trips to Europe 
Um, so most of the furniture that you see on the property was hand selected from abroad. Um, it's imperfect and it has character, um, which is why we loved it. We didn't want it to feel like a museum, um, but we really wanted the space to feel collected and feel interesting and feel comfortable. Um, and I think the antique and vintage furniture, you just mm -hmm. can't get that feeling without it. Just the experience of being able to go to local places, stay, have a, a great night's sleep, be able to meet some of the locals and some of the other travelers. It's just a fun way to experience traveling, right? Yeah, and that's one of the biggest compliments we get is from people coming from, uh, you know, coast to coast or far away who are either visiting friends or family or just passing through. And we'll get to connect to some of those people and talk to them about their stay. And aside from when they get great service or great food product or something great from the bar, one of the best compliments they give is, we feel like we were the only travelers in here. And this oh. really gives us a flavor for like what the Oklahoma City community is like. I love that. And you guys, what a great representation of our community, of the city, um, coming here and hanging out with the locals and the other travelers. What a great space. You guys, thank you so much for being here with us today and sharing with us about the Bradford House. What a great time at the Bradford House today. And whether you're interested in staying in the historic home or the new modern housing they have, this place is amazing. This neighborhood is all around the historic areas. Are you guys interested in purchasing an historic home? I'd love to chat. Shoot me a message. See you next time.